Types of Equity Mutual Funds Part 3 And we're back. We've already learned about classifying equity funds based on the type of investing, value and growth and also on the types of stocks they invest in. And here's the last few types. For investors who like to judge their investments based on the size, reputation and the sheer magnitude of the company. Mutual funds can also be classified based on the size of the underlying companies in the portfolio. Some of these classifications are large cap funds, mid cap funds, small cap funds and multi cap or flexi cap funds, where cap is short for capitalization or market capitalization. Pretend you are the manager of a publishing house and it's up to you to decide which writers the house is going to publish this season. You have a large selection of writers to go with but only a few make it to the list. Now the obvious choice for a sure shot return would be to go for a successful writer who has had a series of books already published. You'll sell a million copies just by his name and even though you'll have to pay this famous writer a lot of money, making your returns marginal in comparison to your investment, the investments are likely to give you stable returns. Similarly. Companies with large market capitalization, generally leaders in their respective market segments with higher business stability and liquidity are large cap companies. Equity funds that invest in these large cap stocks are known as large cap funds. Back to the example, as a smart publisher, you may also want to investigate the writing of a newcomer who seems immensely talented. Now he may not have the backing of a reputed writer, but remember, he's also not going to cost you as much as a reputed writer. This gives you the opportunity to invest in his writing at a low cost and earn large returns on his publications in case of a hit. That's right. Companies with lower market capitalization, generally new to the business environment and still establishing themselves are mid or small cap companies. They are relatively more risky and low on liquidity, but may have the potential to grow big. Smart investment managers are always on the lookout for small companies like this, which have the potential to be tomorrow's market leaders. And by picking up the stocks of these companies, they can help realize the true value of your investments when the companies do grow. Equity funds that invest in small or mid-cap stocks are known as small or mid-cap funds. Funds that invest in a combination of the three are called as flexi-cap or multi-cap or all-cap funds that invest across market cap size and have a range of large, mid and small cap stocks in their portfolio. And other than pure equity funds, there are also equity-oriented funds that predominantly invest in equities, yet have a portion invested in fixed income. These are popularly called balance funds and would invest around 65% in equities and the rest in fixed income. So judging your investment by the size, reputation and magnitude of a company is definitely a great assessment. But do consider the odd rookie that could possibly become your money tree one day, or even a combination of it all, to best suit your needs. <laughs> We hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Watch more and we'll help you learn about different investing concepts. You can also write to us with your feedback at editor at templeton.com. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.